Okay, today I'm going to talk about the spelling O-U-G-H. So O-U-G-H can be pronounced at least five ways. You could probably say six ways in American English. So it can be kind of tricky. So let me show you some examples here. The first way we can pronounce O-U-G-H is as uff, uff. So in the words rough, tough, tougher, roughage, and enough, those are all pronounced uff, even though it's spelled O-U-G-H, which looks nothing like uff. You would think it would be spelled U-F-F -F or U-F or something like that, but no, it is spelled O-U-G-H. Don't ask me why. So you just have to memorize them. So remember, rough, tough, tougher, roughage, enough. Those are all pronounced uff. The second way is ah, and this is probably the most common pronunciation, ah. So thoughtful, thought, thought, meaning the past tense of fight. Today we fight, yesterday we fought. Bought, past tense of buy and brought, past tense of bring. So, ah, ah, um, just kind of drop the last three letters there, and it's ah, I guess. So, thoughtful, thought, thought, bought, brought. Those are all ah, ah. The next way it can be pronounced is off. So just like the last one, only this time the G-H spelling is kind of turning into an F sound. So it's kind of like O-F-F -F or off, A-H-F, however you want to spell it, off. Um, because obviously O-U-G-H makes no sense. So cough, coughing, and trough. Okay, we know what a cough is. It's when you're sick, <laughs> cough. Trough may not be used as much. It's a trough is a a long kind of metal container or some kind of container containing water for animals to drink out of. Maybe it doesn't have to be water, maybe it can be food. Anyway, a container for feeding or watering animals. Trough. Cough, coughing, trough, those are all off with an F sound on the end. The next way is Ooh, you can pronounce O-U-G-H, ooh, but this is not as common. In fact, it's only in two words that I can think of that are commonly used. So through, T-H-R-O-U-G-H, through. I will go through the hoop. Um, throughout means everywhere, throughout. We can smell the popcorn throughout the theater, throughout. So in those two cases, O-U-G-H is pronounced oo. And then O is another way, O, as in dough, although, thorough, sourdough, furlough, and just though. So dough, meaning what you use to make bread or cookies. Um, although, it's kind of the same as though, even though I would love to eat that chocolate, I'm not going to. Um, thorough means, of course, very meticulous, very careful. We're going through all the details. We're very thorough. Sourdough, like sourdough bread. Furlough, uh, like taking a leave of absence. So those are all pronounced O, O. O-U-G-H spelling, O pronunciation. Then the last one is ow, ow. Um, so bow and drought. Although sometimes that is pronounced drought. But anyway, it is an example of how you can pronounce O-U-G-H as ow, drought, meaning no water for a very long time. Uh-oh, we have a drought. And then bow, meaning like a branch on a tree, a bow, bow. 
Okay, so those are six ways you can pronounce the O-U-G-H sound in American English. There's no trick. You just have to memorize them. Sorry. I hope this helps.